So I was pretty bored today with this whole quarantine thing going on. So I figured, it's like, oh, bust out the old dirt bike here. So literally the last time I ran was at a drag race. So it's still literally set up for drag racing. Has a cheater plate there. Uh, <clears throat> she's a ripper, man. It's, uh, it's an 01 KX500 with a big bore. Uh, 525 and pwk carb heads cut port and polish to hell and back extended swing arm pro action suspension uh what else mm, had this bike for a long time it's my baby girl they got rid of this thing fucking rips but uh he said i've just just had drag racing but look how big that sprocket is pretty sure it's the biggest one you can put on this bike and this thing still pulls every gear even extended ah how far back does that go i think it's about 10 or 12 inch extension i usually run it there for drag racing it's pretty good and then hill climbing i put it the whole way back so yeah it's up doing a little rip on her since bored and shit yeah let's see uh see how it runs <laughs> literally i just brought it up here and uh, I was like, man, this thing fucking flies. So yeah, this is part of the video where there should be uh, footage of me riding my dirt bike, uh, but I totally forgot my GoPro was on time lapse, so I'm terrible at this. Anyway, I was looking at my dog's paperwork. Look, it's actually vaccinated against the coronavirus, but I'm not. That's ridiculous. I'm definitely gonna get it that the Lyme disease though for because we got bad ticks around here. So, anyway, maybe I'll get some footage of some dirt bike, dirt bike riding here soon if I don't mess it up again. Yeah, yeah, I'll put a link in the description or a tag or whatever, actually, of that bike at a drag race. So, if you want to check it out. Yeah, I got a reason to clean the old girl now. Man, that was freaking muddy down there. That was, uh, I couldn't even, that was like third gear. <laughs> These things just so fast. But, uh. Yeah, I gotta take it back now. I only put a little bit of fuel in it. It runs uh, oxygenated race fuel, which is like $20 a gallon. So she's pretty expensive to run. But I figured dust her out a little bit and might take her for a little ride this weekend. But man, it has like a heavy duty racing clutch in there. Oh my God, that thing is hard on the hands. I forgot how bad that is. <laughs> it is a nightmare. The stock springs weren't just weren't enough to hold it. It just spit it. I put the he massive heavy duty ones in there. Hooks up good or doesn't slip, but man, it hurts the hands. <laughs>